Hello, how are you? I hope you are well. Today's recipe is for tortillas made in a fantastic and foolproof way, just as I learned from a Mexican lady many years ago. I have been making them this way ever since, and they have never failed me. Everyone asks me about the softness and deliciousness of the bread when filled, and it also becomes crispy. Let's start by placing three cups of flour and half a teaspoon of baking powder in a bowl. I put one cup of water and a teaspoon of salt in a pot and bring it to a boil. Then, I add one-third cup of oil and mix it in. I then add the flour directly to the water and oil mixture and stir with a spoon until I can handle the dough with my hands. It will be hot, but manageable. As you can see, the dough should be soft like this so it doesn't crack when rolled out. This way, I guarantee that it will be 100% successful and tastier than the store-bought ones. Look at how soft it is, and it doesn't stick to your hands. Knead it until it becomes completely smooth. Once it has reached the desired consistency, set it aside for 10 to 15 minutes to rest because it doesn't contain yeast. We only need to let the dough rest so we can roll it out, cover it, and leave it aside. After 10 to 15 minutes, cut the dough. This amount can be divided into up to 16 pieces, but I prefer to divide it into 12 pieces, which makes a perfect size for making shawarma and different sandwiches. This is my preferred size, but you can choose the size you like. Here are the 12 balls I've divided and left to rest for five minutes. Now we move on to cooking. I place a rack over the original oven rack and put a griddle on it because I prefer cooking on a griddle due to its large size, which is more convenient for making various pastries. Roll out the dough using a bit of flour, as you see, until it is very thin and almost translucent. Once it reaches the desired thinness, place it on the griddle over medium heat. The griddle should be hot, and the heat should be medium. Leave it until bubbles form on top and some parts turn golden brown. It's important to note that we don't cook it completely because we will toast it when preparing it with a specific filling. Now we cook it halfway, and the other half will be toasted when filled.
This is the correct level of cooking. Place it directly on a cloth, as you see, with a few light yellow spots. Then we toast it after filling. Here, I have finished the entire batch, and it should always be kept covered during preparation using a special cloth for baked goods. Look how lovely, wonderful, and delicious it is. I hope you try it. If you do and like the recipe, don't forget to like the video and share it with your loved ones.